Hello you sexy biscuits and welcome back into Kingdom Come Deliverance. Yesterday marked the six month anniversary of Kingdom Come Deliverance's release. It also marks my first proper video on this channel. So I wanted to talk about how the game has affected me and also the games industry. I was first made aware of Kingdom Come Deliverance four years ago when the Kickstarter trailer was released. This was going to be a large open world RPG with an incredible amount of choice. On top of that, we had this absolutely amazing first person combat. This was possibly the most realistic combat that I'd ever seen in a game. Now you may or may not know, but I absolutely love open world RPGs. That of course is the main focus of this channel. Stuff like Fallout New Vegas and Skyrim. So having a new RPG like Kingdom Come Deliverance on its way, I got really excited. And yes, that is Henry. I hear he's had a lot of work done. So I didn't hear anything about this game until about a year later. This was when the E3 trailer was released. And then Fallout 4 came out. I put absolutely countless hours into that and I completely forgot about everything else. It faded into a distant, piper-filled memory. Fast forward to 2017 and Warhorse Studios released their cinematic trailer. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. This is nice work. It's new, isn't it? <laughs> You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. This showed the game as it is now and was the trailer that got me back on board the KCD hype train. Toot toot! That was supposed to be a train. I don't know if they still do that. Personally, near the end of 2017, I was struggling on YouTube. I created Sexy Biscuit as a test channel for uploading gaming content. In two months, I gained 24 subscribers. Okay, maybe most of those were my family members, but it still counts. Fun fact! The Biscuit part of my name comes from Harry Biscuit, a character from the BBC4 radio comedy series Bleak Expectations. I watched a lot of beta footage for Kingdom Come Deliverance. This was from YouTubers like Lady Lilia and ESO. I wanted to create my own content on the game and even contacted Warhorse Studios. They said no. <laughs> 24 subscribers. <laughs> but little did they know that I'd become more powerful than they could ever imagine. So instead they sent me a folder of screenshots, which oddly enough are the same screenshots that I use for every single thumbnail for my Kingdom Come videos. Nah, I've already made that reference. On the 13th of February 2018, Kingdom Come Deliverance released on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. I remember playing it for about five hours straight that night after I preloaded it and loved every single minute of it. An early quest where you have to escape Townburg Castle to get back to Scalitz blew my mind. There was an incredible amount of choice. From knocking out a guard to talking your way out or even just jumping off the bridge, this game gave me more choice than Fallout 4 ever had, and that was in one quest. In those first few weeks, the game sold a million copies, which is absolutely mind-blowing. But let's be honest, on release, performance wasn't great. I remember struggling to run the game to the point where I'd film in empty farmland locations in my first couple of videos, is not to show any frame drops. But in the last six months, they have been working non-stop to fix those issues. Besmirching this game on bad performance would be wrong. Sure, it was annoying, but you had this humongous open world where you could do literally anything. This was their first game. The scope alone is mind-blowing and something that I've not seen before. And yes, there were a couple of bugs. Some like people's heads not loading in or flying into the sky every time you tried doing alchemy. <laughs> Thank you. 
one of my personal favourites and one that I really wish they kept in the game because it was hilarious. Over the past six months, patches and bug fixes have fixed a lot of those issues and are still being worked on to this day. Most game studios will release a game with a day one patch and then that's generally it. They may come back every now and again to fix things, but the fact that Warhorse is constantly working on this game should be celebrated. This shows that they obviously care about their game. So in that month, I released my first proper video onto Sexy Biscuit, my review of Kingdom Come Deliverance. This review exploded and it blew my mind. I went from 24 to nearly 200 subscribers in a day or so. And to those that are still with me since that video, thank you. The love from the community and the Warhorse team themselves drove me to keep making content, and today we sit at over 6,000 subscribers and nearly 1 million views over all of my videos. In the last six months, Warhorse Studios and Kingdom Come Deliverance have come a very long way. From being nominated as Game of the Year, currently my choice too, getting multiple awards, and even having two documentaries made with a third in development. In May, Warhorse Studios released the DLC roadmap for the next year, including the now release From the Ashes, as well as the upcoming Woman's Lot DLC. I personally can't wait for the tournament mode. From the 21st to the 23rd at Gamescom, this year, Warhorse Studios will be showing the new Hans Capon DLC. I'm expecting this is probably going to be released about a month after Gamescom, much like the Hardcore DLC and From the Ashes, and I will be doing content on that as soon as I know more. What I like about their DLC plan is that all of it has come from ideas made by the community. I personally haven't known such great communication from a studio before, and I think that other game studios and companies should take note. So what is the future for Warhorse Studios and Kingdom Come Deliverance? Okay, I'm gonna say it now, but there has to be a sequel. Not only to continue the story which many thought was too short, but to build upon the ideas brought forward by KCD1. Town building and modding would be my personal bets. We currently do have modding, but it's not as in-depth as it could be. This will be coming at the end of the year. Kingdom Come Deliverance is a game like no other, from the incredible world building to the endearing characters and heartbreaking storyline. If you haven't played this game, and can look past the old Sir Robard being buried bug. What the hell? What? What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Oh, it's still funny. Then I highly recommend this game. So there you have it. This is my first ever scripted video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go off the script now and just say thank you. Um, this is in parts a two-way celebration because I think that the obviously Kingdom Come Deliverance is six months old, but my channel is also six months old in theory. I started this back in December, but my first proper video was six months ago. It was my Kingdom Come Deliverance review and... That is the video that put my channel somewhat on the map. Since then, I've practically been focusing the channel on Kingdom Come Deliverance. So obviously I have to give a massive thank you to Warhorse for supporting me. In the last six months, a lot of stuff has happened. Some of it has been absolutely terrible, but in the most part, it's been absolutely fantastic. And without your support, I don't think I could continue doing this. A massive thank you has to go out to Warhorse Studios and Sir Toby, who helped me a little bit with this video, and also Sir Rick. It has been an amazing six months, and I cannot wait to see what happens with Kingdom Come in the future, and the DLC that is going to be released. So yeah, if you could subscribe, that would be great. <laughs> I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers, and there is going to be a lot more Kingdom Come Deliverance content coming. Of course, we've got the new DLC coming up very soon, We've also got a lot more stuff coming to the game, and it's stuff that I really am looking forward to. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, but until next time, that's me. Ow. Vegas.